Morning coffee came with controversy in Cape Town. South Africa still digesting England's alleged attempts to alter the state of the ball to their advantage during yesterday's play. The ICC studied video evidence, including Stuart Broad stepping on the ball and Jimmy Anderson handling it here, and they exonerated England. Altering the ball can create reverse swing, a real weapon for bowlers. And this evening, one South African player raised doubts again over England's behaviour. There should be a, a, a formal complaint, because uh, the ball did reverse after that, and, and there was obviously quite clearly a piece of the leather off the ball after he stepped on the ball, and it, it's not the first time it happened, so a um, little bit naughty. Swan around the wicket. England's bowlers were given some harsh treatment as South Africa built a big lead today. England found themselves batting again, 465 runs behind, but starting to enjoy it. Strauss and Cook took the score past 100. But Cook played a shot he may have regretted long before the ball hit the wicketkeeper's gloves. His wicket was quickly followed by the captains. Strauss gone too. Kevin Peterson could not see out the day, LBW. The question now is whether England's remaining batsmen can hold their nerve, but some South African players still clearly mistrust the way English players hold the ball. Joe Wilson, BBC News, in Cape Town.